Harry. This isn't the end. This is far from over. I brought Harry back for one single purpose. I needed someone to be scapegoated for the mess in Delta Labs. After all, I had several scientists murdered, an anomalous entity stopped from destroying the universe at the last second, not to mention a squad of interdimensional special agents on my tail who called themselves Alt-4. So I blamed our famous Dr. Herman for the 747 project and gave him up to Alt-4. I also made it look like he killed CEO Powell and murdered the scientists in cold blood. Officially. I mean, for his family and police. He's gone missing. Apparently hiding somewhere from justice. Once I settled the formalities, I could get back to my work. The Alt-4 agents found me quite resourceful, so they allowed me to run Delta Labs Company. Under one condition. There is someone or something that stays behind the destruction of the Dimension 51. I suspect the same someone inspired CEO Powell to create the 747 project. My task is to find and neutralize this threat. I know you are scared. Don't be. You don't feel ready for what you must finish. But you are Harry. You are. Alex, Eugene, both of them are short-sighted, selfish pricks. They were telling you what to do, with only one purpose. To save themselves. Each of them had a chance to intervene. Each of them could stop the project. But they preferred to play their part in my plan. Until they realized that the plan doesn't necessarily include their survival. You, on the contrary were to be by my side from the very start. And now I need you even more. Your physical body, to be precise. Only the two of us have biometric access to reactivate the 747. And given my current form, I'm afraid you're the only one left. Take my hand, and all of this will be over.
perfect world. Harry and I together, here we go. One dimension, two dimension, three, four, five, and six dimension. Oh, wow. Okay. Finally, I convinced Harry to finish what we've started, to launch the 747 device. As if he had a choice, given he was under my control. The last second before the launch felt like an eternity to me. I was excited, inspired, and terrified at the same time. Almost started to hesitate. Almost. But hesitation has no use when you're about to create the new universe. After all, did God hesitate in the beginning? And we were to be equal to him, overcome the human limits. We broke the Muller-Powell principle. Both of us, me and Harry Herman, became the Demiurges. Time and space, Big Bang, existence, morality, what's good and what's bad, you name it. Everything surrendered, shaped by the power of our thoughts. Some may say that the cost of this achievement is inhuman. The Earth dimension, billions died, maybe more, given we don't have information about aliens. You know, I don't give a damn. Everything we, me and Harry, care about can easily be recreated in the world where we both will find happiness and peace at last. Don't lie to yourself and admit that you'd use this opportunity window yourself. Disagree? In that case, sorry, you don't exist anymore. All right. 
there you have it. That's what happens if you shake his hand instead of continuing on with the final fight. <laughs>